Hey guys, it's Kelly. I'm going to make some Sue's Weinberg inspired little tag things. I saw her do something like this a long, long time ago, and my original plan with my Black Beauty was not working out. So I made these little guys, and um, I'm going to make a bigger one because I'm dying to use my new octopus stamp. And I tried it once here, and it looked like it tried to work out, but um, I didn't have enough beauty. So now I've got it all reheated, so we're going to try again. Now, um, I'll tell you guys really quick, what you're going to need to do this is your melting pot. You're going to need some black beauty, uh, ultra thick embossing enamel, and your favorite color perfect pearls. What I'm using today, because I'm going for like a steampunk kind of look, um, I'm using the green patina, pewter, and blue patina. Those are the ones that I'm going to be using. And this is just a piece of uh, cardboard. It's really flimsy. It's probably not the best thing to use, but I'm hoping this one will work out better. And then um, your favorite stamp. <coughs> the other thing that I'm going to use is my Inca Gold Metallic Rub. <coughs> metallic rub. The other option is to have like a gold or silver pigment ink, and you would just ink it up that way. I don't have that, so I'm just going to stamp it, and then I'm going to use my Ink Gold instead. Put my own little twist on this. Okay, so there's my beauty, and you're going to need some tweezers. I'm going to plop that right in there. I don't think I'm getting it covered well. It's okay. I don't care if it goes on the back. I want it all over. I want a nice thick coating, and I still don't have a nice thick coating. So I'm going to fill it in. I don't care about all the imperfections. I know it's really messy, but I don't care. Because that's all going to get cleaned up. So you got to let it cool. Put all your beauty back in there for the next one. This is a really big one, but that's how I wanted it. The other ones I did smaller, but I want this big octopus. So I want to use him. And this is... Um, the stamps that I got from Rin, this was the unmounted stamp, which is why it's cut all crazy. Um, it's the unmounted stamp, so I cut it as best I could. And it's got such great detail and design to it, so it's hard to cut it like really close. But I did my best. So I'm going to go with it. But before I do that part, these pieces can come off. I can just cut them off later, but oh. that piece got a little cardboard on it, so, <clears throat> so I'm going to throw that away. Uh, sorry, I keep clearing my throat, guys. There's, I can't help it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's like an allergy thing. So this is the pewter. So you're going to need your brush too. And I'm just using the brush that came with my Perfect Pearls. I've got a few sets, so i got a few of those brushes. I hope that my phone does not ring. <laughs> my kids don't yell while I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit and just put it, oh. Just put it on there. It's still nice and hot. Put it in a couple corners. I'm just going to mix my colors here and there. Probably took too much, but that's okay. And again, this is something that I saw Suze Weinberg do. And I, it was somebody in Tucson, Arizona that came up with this um, technique that she did. It was a little bit different than what I'm doing. Has some variations, but... There they go. Yes, dear. What's for dinner? I'll be right there. <laughs> What's for dinner? I should have looked at the clock before I started this next project in this video.
my little ankle biters. <laughs> Uh, I use so much of this green, but I'm not going to freak out over wasting this stuff because I've had like all my, I've got like, I don't even know how many perfect pearls. I've had these for so long, I do not use them anywhere near enough, but I am today. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Okay, so now that I have that all colored the way I want it, kind of steampunky looking, I am going to heat it up with my heat tool and watch the magic. And then put your stamp on there really quick. Ah! Oh, darn it, I think I pushed too hard. think this one's going to work out as well either. So take some practice. It's still really cool looking. Don't touch it because it's hot. Now I wonder, you know, I'm not crazy about it, so I wonder if I just reheat it and put some more on there. Let's try that. I'm going to pour some beauty right on that bad boy. I want more. It's like uneven. I'm going to try it again. We'll see if I can get a little bit more even. I might have just destroyed the whole thing, but hey, that's how you figure stuff out, right? Hmm. I'm okay with that going all over like that. Because now I'm a little more even, and I'll just cut that right off. Hmm, interesting. And there's more bubbles in there, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to add more color. And we'll see what happens. Mmm, it's still really hot. You know what? I'm going to go feed my kids and I'll be back. Okay, so here's where the voiceover starts. <laughs> It'll be in pieces. So, I heated that up real quick. And adding more color. Seriously. And then this happens. Yep, that just happened. But you know what? I just pulled it right off the brush and it was fine. So wait until your beauty is completely dry. <laughs> completely done. So then I'm just adding just a little bit more of those patina colors here and there. And again, it's uh, blue patina, green patina, and pewter. So, and that was okay that that part wasn't melted all the way and it pulled up because I'm going to heat it up again and melt it again anyway to get the um, perfect pearls inside of it. So it's no big deal. And it took me about three turns at this, the big octopus one, because it was, it was quite a bit bigger. So it was a little bit difficult to maneuver. I think it was worth it. I love how it turned out. I'm just getting the excess off and just kind of dusting it off in the uh, garbage. And then I heat it up and I'll speed this up for you. Okay, so now that it is still warm, grab my stamp and stick it on there. 
and I was careful not to push it too hard. Again, it took me third time's the charm. And this time it turned out real nice. Love it! Finally got that good impression that I was trying to get. So, waiting for it to cool because I don't want to start rubbing on it with my ink of gold, which is my next step. I don't want to start rubbing on that before it's done. And it, it, it was still pretty hot, so kind of burned my finger on it. So, I'm just cleaning off my stamp. That's a stamp from Sea Creatures 2. I believe it's Sea Creatures 2. And um, I got that unmounted. And I mounted them all for the first time. I did a video on it. It was not hard. Super easy. So I love the shine of it. I love the patina look. It's very steampunkish, which is what I was looking for. Now, what I'm going to do with this, I have no idea. But uh, I'll figure something out. Probably do a canvas or something. I, You know, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll come up with something. So I'm just rubbing it on with my finger. And it kind of comes to light. And again, if you have a metallic pigment ink, you can stamp it first and then put it in your UD. But I didn't have that, so I thought this turned out pretty cool because then it's the raised areas instead of the stamped down area which both ways are going to be awesome so but this was the only option I had so there it is checking it out hemming and hawing what am I going to do next it looks good leave it alone there's pieces on the bottom that are uneven and you could just cut those off you know or just pop them right off so and then I decided to do around the edges. And then I think that's it. Until the next tile. So I do another one where I show you how to make the smaller one. And it turns out really cool. It's got some really cool colors on it. So more to come on that. I'll be right back. Okay, here's where I show you guys how to make the smaller ones. These are a lot easier to make. <clears throat> a lot easier to maneuver in your melting pot with all your hot, hot beauty in there. So again, I was just using some cardboard packaging. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out and I just wound up using it. So again, that's still my black beauty. So you just need some Q-tips. You stick it in there. Try to give it, get it as even as possible. It's going to be messy. So, and there's parts of it where I'm out of the um, camera, but I'm just cutting a little piece of the, you know, there was like a little blob of UD on the bottom. And then I took some tape because these smaller ones blow around and you, you can really, really hurt yourself. If you're, if you're heating up that UD on that little piece of cardboard and then it starts blowing around on your table and lands on your leg or your hand with all that hot UD, you're going to burn yourself pretty badly. So, um... And because it's so light, it's just getting blown around. So I decided to use some scotch tape and just underneath it and just tape it down to hold it still. I'm glad I did that because it was, I was drying it and it was moving around. So I'm using Forever Blue, Forever Red, and Gold. I'm really liking that combination with this. So I'm making sure that I put my lids back on my Perfect Pearls because I'm going to bust out my heat tool. And I will blow it all over the place. <clears throat> Just shaking off the excess in the garbage and then making sure it's stuck back down to my nonstick craft sheet. Cleaning off my stamp. It's real important that your stamp is nice and clean, otherwise you're gonna get dust and little, you know, paper towel particles and things like that in your piece, and you don't want that. So then I heat it up and I go really fast for you because it takes a while. And it gets all melted. And then you put your stamp on there. 
give it a second and voila now if it pushes out along the edges that's no big deal wait till it cools off a little bit and then you just grab your scissors and you cut it and that's what I do um, you miss that so I'm just grabbing my scissors right there and then I fix it well now I do <laughs> so you just cut it and it's when it's warm it's a nice clean cut and it cuts like butter if you wait too long it's hard because it's hard beauty gets real hard so I'm just taking my old silver ink of gold on my little finger and just hitting it on the raised areas of my cool fiddlehead stamp I'll have links to stamps I used in the description bar and there it is is it pretty I love them I thought they came out really nice so again, it was Sue's Weinberg, uh, old, old video that um, inspired this. I saw it a long, long time ago, and I don't know, it just popped into my head, and then I thought, hmm, maybe I'll try and make that. And it worked out. So there are all the pieces. I did some different styles, some different, like, patina color. And then there's the octopus. I love how that one turned out. I love them all. So I hope you guys do, too. So there's some still pictures for you. Thank you so much for watching. And when was the last time you had your melting pot out? It's been a long time for me. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, guys. More to come.